So I let my onions cool. I sauteed onions and garlic and olive oil and butter earlier. I let it cool. Now I'm adding it to my pound of ground chicken. You want to have it cooled because you don't want to put hot onions in cold chicken. So right now I am going to shake very vigorously one egg and add it to my ground chicken. Of course I have to get every single little, I gotta get every single little piece. I don't know, I'm, I got problems when it comes to that. Okay, so right now I'm adding salt and pepper and with my Prepology, again a QVC product, which I will list if you guys are interested. I just added panko breadcrumbs. Oh my God, I love me some panko breadcrumbs. So I do not like touching the ground meat with uh, my hands, with my nails, and so I use uh, these. I use gloves, and these cute little pink gloves I got from Amazon, like five hundred uh, a pack for like six bucks. So you're gonna mix the ground meat together with uh, the ingredients. I don't know why these things, they feel like they're too big on me. But you're gonna mix them, you're not gonna mix them too much, you don't wanna incorporate it too much, you just wanna, just until combined. And I think I'm gonna do just a couple more, and there I go, done, there I go. Now I take off the gloves and my hands are clean. I love wearing those gloves, it's amazing. There goes my little, little plate on the side. I grabbed a little ice cream scoop, I sprayed it with a little pan. It's about a tablespoon scoop. Um, and this way, the, all the meatballs are gonna be basically the same size and they'll cook at the same a time. That way, one is small, one's big, it doesn't cook evenly. So there I go, kind of skipped over doing all of them so you didn't have to see. Uh, so all these meatballs, they actually yielded about 20 meatballs. And you know, some of them weren't all the same size, which defeats the purpose of what I was just saying. However, I'm cooking for my family. You know, I'm not catering. So, you know, there we go. So adding a little olive oil, adding a little butter, olive oil and butter together, the extra virgin olive oil and butter. Oh God, it's so amazing. I love it. It just brings such flavor to your dish, whatever you're cooking. I make uh, breaded fried chicken, excuse me, breaded chicken cutlets, and I use olive oil and butter. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? I got to put that on my list for next month. Chicken. All right, see? So I'm letting it, you know, heat up a little bit, get a little brown, add a little more olive oil because I can. There we go. And you can. You you got to feel it. Feel feel the cooking. So there we go. So now I'm going to add the uh, meatballs to the pan. I don't want to put all the meatballs in all at the same time because I don't want them to steam. I want to brown them. And if I put them all in, it'll crowd and it'll steam it. This way, it'll just brown the meatballs. And the temperature is like medium high. I don't want the temperature to be super high because I'm not frying them. I'm just browning them. And all those little bits and pieces when I brown them are gonna make the sauce amazing. This is truly the secret of a good sauce. When you cook something, let's say you're making bacon and you take the bacon out and kind of drain the oil, but all those little bits and pieces at the bottom, you want that, you want that. So here I go, what I'm doing is now I'm going to use, you know, hang with me, I love my kitchen tools. So this is uh, tongs that I bought at Hobby Lobby. They were $10 for four of them, but, and I wouldn't have paid $10, but they happened to be 50% off and there was four in a pack. And I was like, you know what, let me give it a whirl. You know what, I really like these. They're, they're kind of, you can tell they're kind of cheaply made. So no matter how long they last, $5 is definitely a good price. And you know what? Don't put them in the dishwasher. They'll last a lot longer. But I love them. So a eh, little tip right there. So what I'm doing now is, see, they're tiny bit sticking. So I don't want to, like, really, you know, I just want to nudge them a little bit and just get them to, you know, turn over just, to, just, to, 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 uh, just a little bit. Okay. See? So I'm just turning them over. And I would say like maybe 
I don't know, two, three minutes per side. They literally do cook up fast. Just, you know, watch it. When you're cooking, you just gotta love your food. You know, be there. So fast forward, you know, they're a little more browned. And this is exactly what you want. You want them browned on all sides. Why we're doing this? Because you wanna seal in the moisture. So that way, when you take these meatballs out, they're gonna be a little raw in the middle or I should say undercook, and that's okay because you're gonna cook them in the pan with the sauce until they're perfect. This way, if you were to keep the meatballs in there the whole time, you're gonna dry them out. This way you're sealing in the juices and they're going to be absolutely delicious and moist. So right now, giving them a little shake, 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 and look at that beautiful flavor. Oh, you can just see it right there. And they're done, that's it. I'm gonna pull them out right now. All right, I'm checking them a little bit because you know I like to touch my food. So there you go, done. Look at how beautiful they look. All right, there we go. Come on, come on, take them out now. Come on, what are you doing? Take them out. All right, I gotta mess with them a few more minutes. I gotta make sure all the sides are done. All right, come on, enough is enough. Okay, shake it one more time, please. Just, yeah, just, nope, what are you doing? Okay. All right, well, okay, this video is lasting at this section a little bit more, that's okay. You know, it's actually faster than real time. Shake it again, there we go, shake it, there you go. And then that's it, so I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna repeat it with the second half and do the same thing. And then after this video, you gotta stay tuned, because look at that. See, all that right there is beautiful. Add a little more butter. Who doesn't love butter? Olive oil again. So I'm gonna let it melt just a little bit. Get the temperature kind of back up again. And then I'm gonna go ahead, see, add in the meatballs for the second, uh, second half of the meatballs. And then I'm gonna fast forward and skip ahead and you will see the beautiful caramelized olive and butter sauce. Look at that. That is amazing. So my next one is going to be the sauce, the Marsala sauce. So follow me on YouTube. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, can't wait.